Hi, my name is Wissam Nasrallah and I lead operations at LSCSD here in Lebanon. Someone asked me the other day, what keeps you going? Despite everything that is going on in this part of the world, I truly see God at work here, transforming churches and then their communities. It's not easy by any means. The work is never done. The wars in Ukraine and Syria, the inflation felt all around the world. This is all felt here too. Even so, I have learned during this time that God does not ask us to bear the weight of ending all suffering. That is His task. But what He has asked us to do is to be seeds of hope, to be people that remind the world that someday every tear will be dried and every stomach full. He asks us to show up every day to love Him and reflect His love to those around us. It sounds simple, but it is radical. To give you a little context, the last two years in Lebanon have been the hardest since the civil war in the 70s. Many people look back to the October Revolution in 2019 as the beginning of a crisis that was long in the making. Protests over government corruption, bad decisions and bad economic policy shut the country down. Then, as the country went into lockdown due to COVID-19, the banking system collapsed. In parallel, our currency rapidly depreciated and families lost their lifelong savings, everything. Really, everything stuck in the bank. Then, on August 4th, the whole world watched as the Beirut port explosion left one-third of the city devastated and 209 people dead. The situation got worse last summer when the government got off access to basic needs, leading to just one hour of electricity per day and massive fuel shortages. Now, our currency's value has plummeted by more than 2,000%. Inflation is making food and electricity more difficult to secure, especially as the crisis in Ukraine impacts the wheat and fuel supply. Meanwhile, the recent parliamentary elections ended with no clear side winning, leading to potential government deadlock. Though it's been two years since the Beirut blast and the world has moved on, Lebanon has not healed. The emergency funds that poured in after the blast have been spent. However, because we praise God, because this relief work opened doors with people who would not have known Jesus otherwise. So many local churches now have an incredible witness to the community. We hope and pray that God will continue to provide the church with the resources to act as His hands and feet in the community. And this is why I'm so thankful to be part of this work. The church is a powerful source of hope in Lebanon and across the world. At LSCSD, we get to be part of God's work in strengthening the witness of the church through inclusive education, community development, and church discipleship. It's only possible because of God's grace, and we rely on the prayer and support of partners to sustain it. So, will you join us in prayer for three things? For caregivers, care receivers, and change? We ask that those receiving care would hear and see the love of Christ. Pray also that those giving care would continue in their faithfulness. The economic crisis is so severe that many feel forced to leave the country. The verse, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few, comes to mind frequently. Will you pray for change? Pray that churches will flourish and communities will be transformed in the Arab world for the glory of God.